What's up, my fellow nerds? Okay. We're going to play D4 as white today. Lots of holidays these past two days. Yesterday was Halloween. I dressed up as a uh, disgruntled software engineer. Don't know if you guys could tell. Also, no, no, what is it? No shave. No shave November today. Got a bit of a head start on that one. Okay. We are playing Black Hole from Indonesia. Let's see if we can do better today. I have a feeling I'm not going to play my best today, if I'm being totally honest. I got some pretty bad sleep yesterday. My toddler woke me up like three times. So I think I'm going to be a little rusty today. Maybe not rusty, but just kind of slow. I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to try something. I was watching a video about the... Ooh, wow, you don't want to trade there. I was watching a video about the London system, and this was an idea to basically open up... Open up the A file for the Rook. I don't really know what the response is if... The opponent doesn't want to trade queens here. I don't really want to give him the open file. Hmm. I wonder what the play here is. You push like b4 or something? I wasn't expecting c4. <laughs> Do I just fall back to c2 or something? Hmm. Do I play like b4 here, maybe? Hmm. I don't really want to play c2. I don't want to use the queen just to guard this, and then it makes the moves for the bishop really difficult. This is not going the plan. <laughs> um, whatever. I'll have the open A file, oh well. How long was that? Minute and a half? Move six? I've done worse. I have done worse things before. It's going to be a weird game. Yeah, our three-year-old toddler crawled into our bed at like midnight. So that was a bit unexpected. And I got woken up like three times. The first time was at like two or three in the morning, I think. I just got hit in the face with his stuffed elephant. I was just minding my own business, not doing anything, and then I just woke up, and I was just like, bro, like, well, what is going on? And then two hours later, after I fell back asleep, I got kicked in the nads. I was just like, bro, just let me sleep. I just want to sleep, man. <laughs> like, like, just let me do my thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a rough night. Um, okay. Hmm. I want to bring the knight out. Yeah, I think this uh, bishop g7 is like the, um, what do you call it? The anti-London setup. I 
I've noticed there turns, tends to be a lot of trading off on E4. With this setup. Why would he want to play that? What does that really do? I'm just listening to our children destroy our house in the background. <laughs> Don't mind the silence. <laughs> I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to bring the bishop down here and then just start breaking open on the C file. Also, he hasn't really defended his knight yet. Maybe this knight on e5 is good here. I wonder if it's better to bring the bishop out and try to scope this knight. I mean, he'll just protect. But I think I'm just going to develop. I'm going to be a good chess citizen and just develop my pieces. Yeah, I kind of want to go bishop d1 and then b3. And then like try to challenge this tip of his pawn chain here. I could also just use the knight to do that too. Um, knight e5 presents an interesting idea. It forces his bishop back to c8. Yeah, I'm going to play that. I think this is um kind of cool. Maybe I could have gone after the knight, but I'm pretty sure he would have just played bishop g7 to protect that. So, yeah. He does have these kind of two awkward pawns here on b5 and b7. Really? Hmm. Why though? Why would you want to play that? Hmm. I wonder if the bishop is. I wonder if the knights are better in this type of position than the bishop. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to just go after. I feel like this knight is kind of just like well planted for now. He can develop his knight onto d7 if I take there, so that's why I kind of don't want to go after it. I'm going to play b3. I, I think it's okay. Yeah, I want to break open his chain here. Yeah. When the pawns are so tight like this, I think the knight is more valuable than a bishop. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, though. Hmm. I think I have to take that, right? Just let him get his bishop out. Hmm. He's going to push his C pawn next. Maybe I just play a more forcing move that will force his uh, bishop to come back here to G7. I'm going to play G5. This might be a mistake, but I think if he doesn't take it, it's going to be worse for him.
This is like the weirdest London system game I think I've played. It's the most unusual. I think it started off with that queen b3 move. Okay. I was really thinking he was just going to protect that. Maybe it's time to sack something. Well, that was a lot of movement for nothing, and then he's just going to attack my knight. Maybe I just take a bishop at this point. Yeah, but he just develops his knight out. Hmm. There's something really obvious I'm not seeing. No, I have to protect this bishop. I have to get it out of here. Hmm. Let's just fall back. There's really only good one one good move there. I think he's going to take this C pawn, sadly. Yeah, it's going to force my knight around into some bad squares. Develop all your pieces, they said. It would be good, they said. He's playing well. He's playing well. I thought this uh, B4 move was really good. I wasn't expecting that. He's been playing a lot of moves that I am um, haven't really been expecting. Yeah, I saw that coming. It's, it's a really... It, I think it's a good move, but at the same time... How is he going to protect this pawn, really? Um, probably f3 is like the only logical move here. Mm, he's up a pawn. Wow. Playing so unconventionally. I'm pretty sure if I play c1, he's just going to protect with this pawn, so... I kind of just want to get rid of this pawn. Yeah, I want to play rook c1 and go after this pawn here. Yeah, I think this uh, open A file is going to come back and bite me in the behind. Yeah. See, now what's nice is he can't really... The only way he can defend this pawn is with bishop b4. Can't really break open the center here either. I have a bad feeling about this game. I think he's just doing much better. I just, I don't know why. I have a feeling that this game's just going to go weird. kind of want to just trade the knights off here, maybe. I think he's going to be forced to play bishop b4 here. Oh, you go that way, do you? Okay. Well, I think that's kind of a blunder. 
So that's just a free pawn. He could have protected that. So. Seems fine. Unless I'm missing something here. Oh, wow. I did not see that coming. I, I did not see that continuation coming. That's really something special. Okay, how do I... Wow. Wow. I can't even protect it because then I just get forked as well. That's really quite the move, man. I'm not going to lie. That is quite the move. Well, how can I protect? I don't want to lose both of them. Wow. Bishop B2. That's crazy, bro. Man, I just have nowhere to go. Ugh. I like the fork here. That seems like my best bet to do something, but I can't even get over there. Maybe I just try to get my rook out here or something. I think this is just going to have to be the best move. It's It sucks, but I almost... Guarantee he's just going to take his rook out. Uh, no. No, he's just going to take. Yeah, I kind of want to just get the rook out here onto the seventh. And this bishop sucks. Wow. Like my light square bishop really can't get out anywhere either. Rough game. Really rough game. Now he's just going to advance this pawn forward. Maybe I have to like get this uh, bishop out this way or something. Yeah, I don't know. I think there was one move where this game fell apart, and I need to figure out like where that happened. This pawn's a goner. I can't protect it. Bye bye. <laughs> trying to get the bishop out onto C two so I can try to break here on E four. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, no, I can't even do that. Hmm. Let me try something like this.
Do you guys think that queen b3 idea was bad? Maybe it was not the move. Wow. Wow. Protecting his knight this way to prevent my bishop from coming onto e4. This guy sees everything. Even that's not very good. Yeah, I can't I can't go for any trades. I don't know, maybe my best bet is just to push the pawns up or something. It's probably a really bad idea, but how else do I break through, right? Can't go there, can't go here. time <laughs> it's always funny to me when people talk about time in the middle of a chess game it's a resource and you can use it how you want um let's see i feel like i have to get my knight over here but how do i even do that All that time for H3. Hmm. I have to go protect F2. Surprised he hasn't taken this knight yet. I mean... Wow. This does not miss does not miss a move. Man, this guy's playing with like really high accuracy. It's crazy. Mm. Maybe I could try. Maybe I should have um just moved the bishop and attacked it this way. I don't think there's anything I can do to protect f2 here anymore. Yeah, I, I think I should have just moved my bishop and just attacked his bishop this way. Yeah, a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Yeah, this game's pretty much lost, but I'm just going to play through. I'll give him the satisfaction of finding mate. He's played well, so what can I say? I'd be shocked if he doesn't go for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just can't find anything this round, bro. Uh, should probably just get this over with. Mm-hmm. 
Can't move my bishop to e4. Can't attack his rook. Can't attack his bishop. Can't go for the check. <laughs> Everything's just unavailable, bro. <laughs> just give me something to work with. Uh. Give me something. I'm probably going to get back ranked. I have to move my bishop so I don't get back ranked at least. Man, I can't believe he's played so well without castling his king. That's pretty nutty. I'm not going to be able to stop this here. My king can't move. Maybe I just have to trade these off. His bishop is blocking my... Uh... I'm pretty sure he just goes pawn c2 and wins. Yeah. That sucks I couldn't get the check there. Yep, this is pretty gg -able, but... I'll take something on my way out. I think I think this whole game fell apart with queen b3. I think that didn't really work out. I'll basically just have to go for that to give up uh, the rook here. Yeah. Hmm. Man, I've never lost so hard to someone that um, hasn't castled. It's pretty crazy. Either I'm just playing really bad or he's playing really well or both. Probably not the move here. Yeah, it's like all my pieces have been working against each other <laughs> this round. <laughs> yeah, he played so many moves that I just wasn't expecting. I'm pretty sure he's just going to go here. Um, and then he's going to go here and then he's going to win my bishop. And there's probably no way for me to stop that since I'm kind of blocked in. Um, I think I have to go here and get my king out to protect f4. Yeah, he played so many moves that I wasn't expecting. Like, I was expecting him to take the queen trade here. He didn't go for it. I was expecting him to put his bishop here on g7. He never ended up doing that. Um, What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, these pawn pushes. I was expecting him to trade pawns off here, like around these four squares. And he just basically continued to push pawns. Um, so just very, like, unconventional moves that I just was not expecting. Um, 
What can I do? There's basically nothing I can do at this point. I think it's like my only valid move. Hmm. Mm, pretty sure he just takes that pawn and it's GG. Yeah, he takes the pawn and it's game. Well, I can still block it in with the bishop, but either way, it's just GG. I think it's my only valid move here. Yeah, GG. Well. Better luck next game, I guess. <laughs> he could honestly probably just push a pawn and win here. Yeah, even yeah, this rook a1 is just mate as well. Yeah, that too. Well, GG. Let's figure out how this fell apart so fast. Oops, I forgot to tell him GG. Cool. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Ninety-seven. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Yeah, the guy did. He did not slip once. <laughs> Holy moly! All right. Let's see how this went. Yeah, see, this is actually a book move. I was watching some ideas behind the London system, and B3 is actually a book move. I guess I just, I didn't know the continuation after C3. C2. C2 is the idea. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. I've never actually played this uh, exact repertoire here, so good to know C2 is the idea. Wow, scoping his knight out so fast, really. Never would have thought it. A3. B3. Yeah, this this was kind of a piss poor move here, wasn't it? It just didn't accomplish anything. Oh yeah, I should have just protected that. Yeah. This is kind of where it fell apart for me here, C3. A4. Doesn't A4 just lose a pawn? Isn't... Isn't that just a losing move here? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. This is an inaccuracy. Yeah, never in a million years would have seen this coming. Really strong move from him. I think I should have just pushed up C2 here. What does the engine say about C2? C2 is good. Yeah, I, I should have went for C2. Yeah. After, yeah, Rook B2, it was, it was all over. I was considering Rook B7, but it gives up this... I mean, I was losing that pawn either way, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Taking the knight, yeah. Yeah, in this position, there was really no going back. I was just kind of fighting for dear life here. Yeah, mate was inevitable here. It was just too easy. But, hey, I tried to stick it out to the end. But, so let's just look at where it fell apart. Yeah. So it looks like I would have still had some chance here, but even then, he just had this fork next, didn't he? Didn't he just have the fork here? Knight takes on g6. Oh. Oh, I have the... Oh, I see. A bit of a more forcing move. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would have had some chance if I had gone... Um, 
left the bishop here and just protected with f3. But just seeing how good he was playing, I think it was going to be pretty slim. And the problem was, was he had this, uh, this um, pawn over here that was going to be a really big threat. And I was using this knight to try to... I was using this knight to try to protect b3. But he had other plans. So this knight had to go on a mission to protect this bishop, yeah. Really interesting game. I kind of got my ass handed to me this game. <laughs> and once he created this pawn chain, boy, that was really tough. And yeah, didn't castle. Yeah, pretty wild. Cool. Well, thanks for the game. Black Hole 1123 from Indonesia. Appreciate it. Good game. Well played. And see you guys in the next one. And better luck for me tomorrow.